Hello my lovely Virgos, welcome to your November 2020 reading. This is a general reading for you my lovely Virgo, it's a reading for Virgo sun rising and moon sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign. Some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. That's going to be specific to you. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting on my channel. I really uh, appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I'm posting new videos. So let's have a look at November for you, my lovely Virgo. As I create your spread. Okay, so let me see what's going on with you, Virgo, um, in the month of November. In the month of November. I feel like you've come from a place of, you know, there's been some trials and tribulations for some of you. There's been um, someone that has um, disappointed you. I feel like there's someone that has been dis that has disappointed you in the past um, that has um, hasn't been pleasant. It hasn't. It's something that you haven't expected. It's it's like you've seen someone's true colours uh, come through. You've seen someone's true colours come through, which has been a little bit disappointing for you. Um, It's also about you coming to a point where you are seeing yourself clearly, that you're not hiding from hiding parts of yourself. We become masters at deceiving ourselves, but it's really seeing ourselves with clarity so that we can move forward, looking at what needs to be left behind, what needs to be sorted through. I feel like I'm I'm sorting through a a box of um, memorabilia, you know, or a closet, and and you sort of finding stuff right at the back that you forgot you had, and that's about you digging in deep to what you and and taking out memories and situations that need to be released as well because what that's going to lead you to let's have a look at November it's going to open up it's going to enlighten you I feel like you feel enlightened I feel like there's this uh, progress forward once there's been this clearing out of the closet there's a progress forward. There's choices and opportunities here for you to make. You're deciding on something, my lovely Virgos. There's something that you're deciding on. There's something that you're deciding on that is going to allow you to progress. It's going to allow you to move from where you are to where you want, getting closer to where you want to be, closer to the person you want to be, closer to the lifestyle you want, closer to um, the people that you have around you. There's, it's just about choices and decisions that are going to get you closer to where you want to be, where you need to be, where you need to be. Um, it's about minding your anxiety, um, really controlling that doubt that you have if you're feeling really anxious and uh, you know you do have doubt it's good to talk about it with with friends or with someone that you trust or a professional as well as well as that there's sort of sleepless nights that are coming up for you in, in November as well whether that's part of the change that's part of the movement forward that's part of releasing the past there's also going to be a lot of, of um, information coming through to you uh, via your dreams so there's also a clean cleansing of yourself through dreams uh, that's going to be an opportunity to release but it's also your guides speaking to you giving you healing giving you guidance through through your dreams as well so it's that but it's also going to create a broken sleep so there's sleeplessness there and if you are feeling anxious then you need to speak to someone you need to talk to friends you need to really um, get the help that you want because I feel like that's that anxiety is coming from a place of some regret. There's some sort of heartache. There's some sort of regret um, around you as well that comes up that you're storing. 
that you're storing, that you've hidden. So that's part of the closet stuff that needs to be um, aired, that needs to come out. You know, if life hasn't gone the way you thought it would or someone has disappointed you or someone has betrayed you, um, there's there's a bit of a broken heart here. There's, there is an emotional disappointment here that needs to be um, aired, that needs to see the light of day. That you need to dig into that closet that is the self and take out those things that are hidden in the corner and release those and release those, which is really interesting because, you know, this is all happening in the very beginning of um, November because you've also got the judgment card and the judgment card is about triggers. It's about triggers that cause you to look at things, hurts from the past, look at things from the past that you have stored, look at things from the past that you have buried that need to be released in order for you to move forward into this new reality, into this new new phase in your life. You know, And this is about self-deception. We become masters at saying, oh no, there's nothing there, We're all, I'm all right, I, you know, there's, I, I haven't got anything, you know, I've got no shadow, I haven't stored anything, I've released everything. We become masters at at hiding from ourselves and the deeper down you go the, the, the more digging you need to do to really pull out and so there's going to be triggers that are going to bring up memories so look at the memory and release it release and when by saying release it I mean release the resentment that goes with it release the anger that goes with it release the strong emotions that go with that memory and so take with it only what you've learned from that situation so that that's what's going to come up in the beginning of November. It's just going to be these triggers to to bring up to the to the fore uh, things that need to be released, things that you need to let go of, things that need to move on, so that you can move on. You can move on to this new phase, this new phase in your life. And this is December, and it's certainly 2021 for you. Um, this newness. There's a lot of resentment that needs to be released. Because it's it's like a ball and chain. It's holding you back. It's holding you back. You do that successfully and there's new horizons, there's new journeys, there's new opportunities that are going to improve your um, finances, love, uh, abundance, abundance in all things, health, love, happiness, um, finance, um, opportunities, the uh, abundance in the richness of life. And so there's there's going to be more than enough for you there um, to take you to that next phase, that next part of your life. So there's this uh, November for you is this transition time. It's a time of transition. It's a time of journeying from where you are to where you are going to be. And for some of you, it's something physical. It's a change of job, a change of location. For some of you, it's a spiritual or a psyche journey of of journeying from where you were and reinventing yourself, being a new you, reinventing yourself, a new wardrobe, a new hair colour, a new um, new way of being, uh, changing your routine. You know, there's a change, there's a shift, there's doing something different, bringing in fresh new energy around you. That's uh, so, it's so important. So you've got that opportunity to do that in November we move through it sort of the energy lightens up as we move towards the end of November the second half of November and into December you've got the wheel of fortune and so clearing up this debris clearing up this stuff that no longer is suiting you is no longer good for you is holding you back it's going to allow the wheel of fortune to start turning so for those of you Virgoans that were in a rut or stuck or things weren't changing things will change once you put your life in review things are going to change the wheel of fortune is going to start turning in your favor you're going to start seeing change come in uh, things are going to start turning for the better so the end December and 2021 is going to see things for the better um, I'm putting out my yearly projections for 2021 soon um, have a listen to those it gives you a projection of the year ahead for you um, and give you some sort of clarity but things are becoming unstuck things are moving forward for you the will of karma is turning in your favor so the more effort you put in the more work you put in in releasing at the beginning of November which is going to be so good it's going to open up these new opportunities new opportunities that are going to set you on a new path, a new journey and things are going to start turning around. 
things are going to start getting better. So they're really good. That's really good. It's well worth the effort. You've got temperance here. And temperance also speaks of calmness, balance, meditation, going for walks, um, going for swims, doing the gardening, cooking, um, whatever it is for you, whatever brings you that tranquility, whatever brings you that peace, reading a book under a tree, you know, uh, whatever brings you that balance. And it's about bringing in that harmony and that peace and that balance, my lovely Virgo, and um, allowing those shifts to occur, uh, forgiving yourself, releasing the past, whatever that is, whatever it is for you. Don't fear it. Don't fear it. You really need to be your own person. Don't allow anyone to emotionally manipulate you, hold you back, tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Uh, you really need to follow your own guidance. Follow your own guidance. But this also speaks of you not taking shortcuts. Don't make decisions because they're the easy option. Make decisions because they're right for you. Give yourself a voice. And sometimes getting yourself back on the, on the path that's going to be good for you is not the easiest path. You've got to really put in an effort to get there really review and reviewing the past and releasing past hurts and past things that we've stored long long time ago that's not easy that takes effort so don't be tempted to try and convince yourself to say oh well I'm fine I've done all of that I've released it all knowing that it's there doesn't mean that it's released that requires the effort. So no self-deception. Don't allow others to manipulate you and, and make decisions for you. You make your own decisions, but make the decisions that are best for you, not the decisions that are easiest for you. And anything that you, you know comes up, you're going to be able to handle. So anything that comes up in November is nothing that you can't handle. The universe is not going to give you anything that is out of your ability here. You're going to be successful. Anyone that's competing with you, anyone that's trying to hold you back, you're going to overcome any obstacles that are standing in your way in November, which is going to set you up for December and 2021. So move ahead with confidence because the wheel of fortune you know just keep that in mind the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor it's turning in your favor which is you know absolutely fantastic i'm using a second deck and i'm going to draw three cards for you to uh, see what added information i can get for you in november um, because i feel like it's not all ominous i feel like there's good things that are going to come from this Good things that are going to come from this self-exploration. Oh, that's great. Okay, so you've got this. You know, there's going. There, you are going to celebrate your successes. You are going to celebrate your work. You are going to celebrate your efforts. There's celebration here. There's happiness here. There's joy here. So once you've done the work, there's joy and there's happiness and there's openness that's coming in around you. Absolutely, because then you also have the Son of Pentacles, which is. Uh, like the Knight of Pentacles. It's about having the courage to self-explore, to look within. Have the courage to look within. Do it in a logical, grounded way. You can remove the emotions that go with those situations and just release, release those situations so that you can move on. And once you do that, there's a new beginning. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. There's a new beginning in abundance, in all things joyous, in all things abundant in your life so that you're going to see that shift. You're going to see that change. You're going to see that um, positivity coming in as a result of your efforts. So it's well worth the effort, well worth the effort, my lovely Virgos. I'm going to draw a card for you from the uh, Angels of Abundance to see what is there for you. Oh, this is interesting. It says, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And that's really what's coming in for you. Exercising and that's, you know, going for walks, um, going out, nurturing the self, looking after the physical body so that the spiritual body can also heal. The key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward because that also brings clarity of thought. I'm going to give you another card as well. It gives you clarity of thought um, in, in your progress and movement forward. 
you know, which is fabulous. Let's see. <clears throat> ah, gratitude list. Have a gratitude list. Gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart. That's the temperance you see. <clears throat> centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are, are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. So that's absolutely, you know, that speaks of these two cards. So there's some words of wisdom for you, my lovely Virgos, as you journey through November. I wish you many blessings. I wish you happy and safe journeying through the month of November. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Many blessings to you, Virgo.